Our economy is fueled by dynamic workplaces where the impossible becomes possible, where individuals reach their full potential. Sherm impacts the lives of 115 million workers and their families every day. And together, we can build a world of work that works for all. That is our vision, to advocate for better policies, elevate human resources, and develop stronger managers. Still, the workplace needs work. By creating better workplaces, we are truly creating a better world. One person can cause an effect. One person in HR can challenge outdated hiring practices, champion modern benefits, advocate for pay equity, and turn jobs into careers. HR empowers others to not only dream of change, but to create it. The actions of a few affect the lives of many. Join SHRM today to cause the effect you wish to see in the workplace. Our folks here have over 20 plus years experience. We provide two main areas, express requests, which is a compilation of all various topics. can actually save a lot of time by asking one of our advisors to do some research for you, to bounce off an idea, to find out latest current employer practices. We talk about every topic imaginable under the umbrella of human resources. Among the most popular would be the Family and Medical Leave Act, the exemption status, questions about the salary basis. The questions go on and on. We could talk about many more of them. And if you want to do that, don't forget one of the prime benefits of being a SHRM member, the HR Knowledge Center. Good morning. Hello and welcome to the second annual Better Workplaces Challenge Cup. Thank you for joining us. I'm Guillermo Correa, Managing Director of SHRM Labs, SHRM's Workplace Innovation Lab and Venture Capital Arm. For those of you who are not familiar with SHRM, we're the Society for Human Resource Management, the largest HR association in the world with over 300,000 members that touch the lives of over 150 million employees worldwide. This marks our fourth international segment virtually being done from Dubai. So a special thanks to the Sherm Mina team, our co-host for this segment of the competition. And we have a special guest for some words that he'd like to say. So please help me in welcoming to the stage, Vivek Aurora, Executive Director for Sherm Mina. Hello, Vivek, welcome to the stage. And Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, hi, guys. For those who don't know me, my name is Vivek Arora, and I'm the executive director for Sherm in the Middle East region. It's a lovely morning here in Dubai. And I'm pleased to welcome you all at the Sherm Lab Better Workplaces Challenge Cup 2022. As you all know, Sherm Lab's Better Workplaces Challenge Cup 2022 is an innovative and an aspirational title that helps organizations showcase their best practices and set benchmarks not only for the other peer organizations in the region, but also globally. I'm so glad to see that we have an amazing degree of participation from the organizations, not only making the region proud, but also bringing the region on the map of the best HR practices. My best wishes to all of them to make it to the finals at the Sherm Annual Conference at New Orleans in June 2022. On behalf of Sherm Mina, wish you all the participating organizations globally the very best. May the best organization win. Thank you so much. Excellent. Thank you very much, Vivek. Um, and hopefully, you know, we, we will be able to have a great, great uh, competition today, which I'm sure it will happen. So thank Absolutely. you for being with us. All right. My pleasure. My pleasure. Great. Um, so given the state of our workplaces in the world today, this year's competition continues to be just as timely as last year's. Remote work, the skills shortage, mental health, and the great resignation are driving the workplace to new heights of innovation. And innovation is the key reason why SHRM launched this competition. The Better Workplaces Challenge Cup 
is a pitch competition to find the innovators that are solving the most critical workplace challenges. And this year, as you can see, the competition is global. We have competition rounds in the US, Europe, Latin America, Middle East Africa, and Asia Pacific. This is the ninth of 10 first round segments of the competition. From this round, the top two companies will be advancing to two semifinal rounds. And then the top two companies from each semifinal round will be advancing to the finals, which will be held at Sherm's annual conference and exposition, the largest gathering of HR professionals. And this year, as Vic was saying, um, it's going to be happening in New Orleans. Um, so today you're going to be hearing from seven very exciting startups. Each company will provide a three minute pitch and afterwards they will have they will have a three question and answer session with our judges. The criteria these startups will be judged on are number one, is this a business that will be able to grow to positively affect the lives and work of millions of employees? Number two, is this a business that will create better workplaces where employers and employees thrive together because you have to have a balance between the two of them? And then finally, number three, is this a business that will provide value to share members and their companies by helping HR professionals become more efficient and strategic? Once the pitches are completed, the judges will deliberate and choose the top two companies that will move onto the semifinal. Uh, one thing I did want to note is that this event does qualify for two PDCs towards your SHRM CP or SCP cert certification, and we will be providing the code at the end of the event. Um, but for now, please help me in welcoming our judges uh, for today. First up, uh, we have Nishant Upadhyama, Director of Advisory Services at SHRM India. Welcome to the stage, uh, Nishant. Um, and next up, we have Hala Ibrahim, Programs and Strategy Director of MENA at Brink. Um, unfortunately, our third judge um, had an emergency and was not able to make it um, to the competition. Um, so uh, for a change, I will actually be filling in as the third judge for today. So um, let's go ahead and uh, uh, get started here then and welcome our first participant, uh, Kipi.ai. With the shift to hybrid or remote work, people experience a new kind of working environment. Sometimes we get the best out of ourselves, but sometimes it can be challenging. Challenge. Informal collaboration and catching up at the office have disappeared, and along with them, our ability to know how the people we work with are doing. We don't know because we don't see them. Remote work decreased team collaboration within and in between teams, resulting in miscommunication and disengagement from the tasks. This new working reality increases a sense of frustration and faster burnout, which in the long run leads to higher rates of resignations. Have we lost the ability to sense team dynamics without the office? Team dynamics are reflected in the digital workspace, but new tools are needed to understand the full picture. Keepy connects to teamwork tools to continuously map team dynamics, highlighting insights without disturbing teams in their day-to-day -day work. The technology is based on academic social research and advanced AI. But Keepy is more than just that. It is a full cycle, evidence-based retention management system to prevent team burnout and increase collaboration and engagement, providing value from day one. It gives managers visibility into their team's health, empowering them to lead with action and measurable KPIs, and provides quantitative feedback so they can be sure they're on track. HR managers gain a better understanding of team's burnout and disengagement and can allocate mitigation resources accordingly. Employees are also engaged with the platform by completing pulse surveys related to their team's journey. Kibi harnesses the entire organization to take part in creating a healthy work environment. Kibi, a healthy culture in a digital age. Okay. Excellent. Welcome to the stage, Shavir, and great to have you here with us. Um, and for this round of the Q&A, uh, Nishit, uh, do you want to go ahead and get us uh, started? Absolutely. No, brilliant product, uh, uh, Dvir, and uh, amazing and much needed, uh, you know, at this point of time. But the, the question is, um, is this somewhere based on uh, organization network analysis as well? Do you kind of look at networks that people sort of um, interact with um, and and if you do so um, is there a chance that something like this might seem as being intrusive um, great question um, 
we keep a pr a privacy as a top priority. So uh, we don't read the uh, employee messages or anything. We just uh, use metadata and, uh, and build the, the dynamics of the team from uh, the transformation of data in, that is visible in the public domain of the company. It's actually what every manager sees. We just arrange this data in a way that they want to bring him the understanding of how, how the billing or the productivity or the next product will uh, go out, but how the teams feel along the process to, to understand how they get this experience. Uh, sure. This answer the Got question. That. Got that. Thank you. Uh, next question over to you, Holland. Um, can you talk to us a bit about your business model and your value proposition, please? Yeah, sure. Uh, so uh, we are a, a SaaS uh, a platform. We charge by employee per month. And uh, our concept is that uh, <clears throat> HR need to focus on what they do best, communicate with people and uh, being there for the employees and giving the right attention. And Kipi will uh, do the, the rest. We'll focus you where you need to, to be, uh, to create the right impact in the right timing will help you manage the task with, with uh, quantified metrics. So you know you re created the right impact and quantify this into uh, to impact that you can uh, uh, project to the management to see how uh, our retention efforts uh, brought the uh, value to the company. So it's a subscription model? I'm just, I'm just, yeah. just trying to understand. OK. It's a, it's a per, per employee per month, and you subscribe every month. Of course, we can start with, with each company with a, one team and expand within the company. Um, in this uh, stage, we are focusing on uh, R&D teams, and later we'll expand to the rest of the departments and outside the tech industry. Okay, thank you. Okay. And a uh, final question over to me, obviously. Um, and, and for me, I have a couple of questions, um, and one of them actually uh, kind of is related to what you just said a second ago. Um, the first one is how long does it take for your solution to be implemented, right? Because obviously, you know, one of the things that that that, that is top of mind for HR is, you know, how what kind of resources am I going to need to implement this in my um, organization? And then the second one is is around what you just said. Um, you know, so right now your solution is only for R and D teams, um, but is the plan to expand that to pretty much all all sorts of teams in in your or in organizations? Is that correct? Yes. Um, so, um, you repeat the first question a second. How, how long does it take for ah. the implementation to, or for yeah. your solution so, to be implemented? So it's a great question. Uh, actually, we're registrating, we're registrating to the platform online. So uh, registrating and onboarding take uh, less than five minutes. Um, our, our platform uses the historical data of the company. So from the first day, it's like we know the company for a few years now and we build the model accordingly. So we provide the value from day one. We actually got some of success like this in the first day with our current customers. And uh, as we see other industries going through digital transformation and accelerated by the pandemic, uh, we also uh, experimented with verticals that are outside the tech industry like call center, et cetera. And so we can bring value to them also. Okay, fantastic. Excellent, Veer. Thank you for being here tonight and uh, or this morning, I'm sorry. And uh, while the judges write down some notes, um, how can attendees find out more about um, Kipi.ai? So uh, first, you're welcome to contact me via LinkedIn, Dvir Paravi at LinkedIn. Uh, we got our website, Kipi.ai, that you can also contact us. And we are always happy to talk about the future and work and collaborate. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks. All right, next up, our second participant is cactus.ai. Employee well being is crucial for optimal productivity. Happy employees, happy customers, healthy business. But long hours, demanding workloads, mounting stress lead to burnout, drop in performance and sick leaves. No wonder businesses lose over 40 million working days each year. That's why we created Cactus AI. 
Think of Cactus as a well-being map of your organization. Real-time, data-backed insight into your employees' mental state. Are they happy? Fulfilled? Productive? Or is someone struggling? Cactus Brain is an AI tool powered by deep machine learning that identifies mental health triggers, spots early indicators of stress, and provides tailored suggestions, adapts to your HR team's imagination and employees' needs. Oh, and there is more. Build your company hierarchical system the way you like. Whether you work in a single location, remote or multiple offices around the world. Build customized smart surveys for your teams and employees. Choose from 15 modules covering all mental health and well-being challenges and engagement and company performance plus 700 questions. Extract personalized reports with one click. Cactus AI. Mapping workplace well-being to boost productivity and mental health. All right. Hey, Mohammed. Welcome to the stage, um, and thank you for being here. Uh, for this round, Hala, do you want to get us started with the questions? Yeah, Mohammed, can you just uh, tell us a bit more about your technology and like how does it how does it work? Yeah, sure. So we have uh, uh, so the we have the AI models that actually use the NLP that comes out from the smart surveying tool. So the dashboard uh, divided into three main uh, uh, tools, the smart surveying tool, the HR are using the, these to, to get all of the feedback from the 700 questions. So we use the NLP from the uh, comments that come out from the uh, smart surveying tool and also add uh, a lot from the metadata that come out from the communication dashboard combine all of these to come up with the early prediction of different uh, mental health issues. So we have now depression model, we have an anxiety model, we have work-related stress model, and these are uh, all related to the uh, modules uh, uh, of the questions as well. Okay, and what is uh, your business model? So we are a subscription-based model. Uh, this is the main uh, model that we are using, uh, per employee per month, and we have two different bundles for that. Uh, mainly now we have uh, uh, all uh, SMEs, so we are using uh, uh, the basic uh, model. Uh, and now we are onboarding uh, one of the uh, big clients in the MENA region as well. Uh, so we are using a customized model. Beside the uh, subscription base, we are doing the uh, uh, partnership model with the branding companies and the uh, leading HR consultancy and manage management consultancies as well. So we did two partnerships and these are also helpful. Uh, they have a lot of uh, company portfolios and we use this uh, partnership to penetrate different markets. Thank you, Mohamed. Okay. Great, next question over to you, uh, to you Nishit. Mohamed, uh, how exactly do you collect data? Um, how often do you collect data? Um, and uh, the second part of my question is, um, what happens if you detect an extreme case, you know, uh, somebody who's kind of really agitated or stress levels are extremely high? Um, can something be used from this to be able to flag that off? Yeah, it's a good question. So I'll start uh, by the second part of your question. So we uh, we actually uh, uh, doing the first half of the uh, thing. So uh, so when we, for example, uh, uh, the HR on board, all of the employees in, in their company, each employee will, uh, will have their own profile and they will choose to be anonymous. Uh, and uh, let's say, for example, after six months of, uh, of using that, they will, uh, 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 in, in an anxiety or work later said there is a, a red flag or alarm that they are having uh, uh, um, maybe uh, signs and symptoms of uh, uh, an anxiety. So what we are doing for uh, at this stage, we have uh, an action plan that help them uh, refer them to our third parties. Uh, third parties actually divided into three main categories. Uh, whether uh, they are managers, we will uh, ask them to go for uh, executive coaching or whether they are employees and they want to go for a one-on-one -on -one session with a psychotherapist, we will do that uh, as well for them anonymously. 
and there is also uh, the, uh, the, the highest majority, 75 or maybe 80 percent, that will, will only need uh, an, uh, reading articles or uh, a, few, a few kind of uh, meditation and, uh, um, let's say, uh, uh, events or sessions that will release uh, the stress. But for to answer your question, if there is a critical need for a psychotherapist, we also provide that as well. Going to the first part of your question, uh, uh, we call we are cloud-based solution. So uh, the data is actually uh, there are different sets of data, and uh, one of the key things that we are actually uh, focusing on is uh, how we manage and how we organize the data collection because it's uh, our insights is all built in, in the metadata and the, and the uh, metadata that we are uh, using, and this is actually. Uh, 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 the key assets for us as an exit strategy. So we uh, we have a different sets of data that we are collecting at, at this stage, and uh, we have an uh, R and D team that's using this data to uh, to do. We are we are now granted uh, fund from uh, UK uh, research uh, and innovation to work on, on on this data to come up with the uh, uh, IB that uh, uh, will be specific for three main issues. Anxiety and early and mild depression and uh, work-related stress. It's also related to mood. We have three different modules for that. Okay. Excellent. Um, um, and then the, the sorry, the, let me is, just no. Go ahead. Sorry, just one follow-up question. How many questions the, do the employees need to fill up to be able to give sufficient data to you? How, how many questions are they? Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's actually uh, we we. We have a pool of questions uh, that meet all of the HR needs. So we have 15 modules, and now we added the feature of 360, for example. Uh, uh, let's say that uh, and, and the smart surveying tool work uh, based on the uh, HR uh, preference. So if they want to schedule uh, a survey that will go for three questions per week or maybe three questions per, per month for a one year, uh, uh, focusing on different modules. So it's actually uh, going to be... Uh, uh, depending on the uh, customization of the HR and uh, getting and, and not so for example uh, a lot of employees will only uh, answer these uh, these driver questions uh, with the scores without adding feedback so there is no comments to use so we only so you, we also use different sets of data to come up with the insights for each individual okay when uh, one very last question for me. Uh, very, if, if you could expand on uh, the anonymous part, right? How how uh, do you ensure that uh, employees are remain anonymous? Because obviously that's going to be a major drawback to employees wanting to participate. So how how is it that you you know you achieve that? Yeah, yeah. This is this is a very important uh, uh, part as well, uh, and. Uh, uh, since we launched uh, actually we, uh, uh, our customers we are a uk based so our customer all, uh, all uh, requested the gdpr compliance so so we have we have this anonymity feature in the in the hand of the employees so uh, the manager or the hr or the admin will have the admin uh, dashboard uh, they will see the list of all of the employees in the company based on the hierarchical system that they built uh, but they will they will never going to see the names uh, on the other hand, the employee will go and access their profile through Cactus uh, platform, and they will see that uh, they are anonymous, uh, uh, and they will choose whether they they want to share their information with the admin or not. So it's in the in the hand of the employee to share the details of their profile with the employee or not uh, of the with the employer or not, and uh, the employer will get the holistic overview of the teams and offices and the company. Uh, overall uh, analytics. Okay, fantastic. Excellent. Thank you very much, Mohammed, for uh, being here. Um, and while the judges uh, write down some notes, how can attendees find out more about uh, cactus.ai? Thank you. Thank you all. Okay, thank you. All right, let's bring up our third participant, uh, Minky. Hi, everyone. Here's the team from Minky. Minky is the solution to recharge and reconnect people in hybrid workplaces. After two years of pandemic, remote or hybrid work came to stay. Seven out of 10 employees want flexible remote work options and 66% of leaders are considering permanently switching to hybrid work. This change brings a lot of positive aspects, but also comes with new challenges. 
challenges for our mind, our body, and our social connections. Zoom fatigue, lack of physical activity, and having a hard time building deep connections with our peers through video screens makes it very difficult to thrive in this environment. Not answered, that deters our well being. In Europe now, you have more than half of Europeans suffer from stress and back pain. In the US, one out of five suffer from mental health conditions during the last two years. That is not only bad for our health, but also very costly for organizations. One trillion is lost in productivity each year caused by depression and anxiety. Current solutions fail to solve the problem as they do not reach the people that would need it the most. Minky is the response. Minky recharges and reconnects employees during the digital workday and is made for full workdays to provide recharging moments at work. The exercises are very short and target our daily work pains like stress and physical tension. Our science-based method is proven highly effective. In three weeks time, with just five minutes a day, stress already reduces by 30%. Minky is easy to adopt and easy to stick to. Thanks to integrative breaks, weekly live sessions with trainers, and team journeys, which are like program team events to discover a new healthy routine over the course of six weeks. To be there where people work, our Slack integration provides many features to reconnect teams and help them prioritizing healthy routines and social connections. That way, Minky puts leaders in the driver's seat to manage well-being in organizations. HR and leaders get the pulse of their team's well-being and smart and easy to integrate solutions to improve the status quo and also become a very attractive employer as a side effect. 86% of our users rate Minky as excellent. And that is how we impact thousands of workers one break at a time. And when I say us, I mean our team. Minky is a female-led startup with a very diverse and international team, all motivated by the same mission, to make digital work better for thousands of employees worldwide. Thank you very much for listening. All right, excellent. Welcome to the stage, Dr. Colin, and thank you for that presentation. Um, and for this round of Q&A, uh, Nishi, uh, do you wanna get us started? Absolutely. Um, seems like a very interesting uh, product, uh, Dr. Delphit. Um, now, how does it work? So, so there was an interesting feature which said that, uh, you know, Minky would sort of propose breaks between meetings as well. Um, now, in your actual experience of having used it in all those clients, uh, how have people responded and taken that up? Have they not found it a little bit uh, disruptive? Um, you know, so, so just, just wanted to understand that. Well, we have a, our product is a suite of solutions to make a digital work a place where people can really uh, be mentally fit, be uh, less stressed, and also to reconnect with one another. And you're right, one of the features is to have small breaks integrated in meetings. So this is not something that works like uh, automatically and people cannot choose to have them. It is something that managers or people having a team meeting can decide spontaneously or integrate meeting as a routine. So we have client that uh, integrates at the beginning of every uh, weekly team, integrate a short break of one minute so that everybody get rid of all their thoughts and concentrate on the meeting. We also see other people like in workshop, integrating in the middle of a workshop, like after 40 minutes when people start to get tired, integrating a recharging moment of five minutes so that people get concentrated again. So we have really studies showing that our short break that are very specific, I mean, we use slow motion animation, are recharging moment uh, for people, but also a way to reconnect them. Brilliant. Okay, excellent. Uh, next question over to you, Hala. Yeah, so just a follow-up question, just for me to understand how it works again. I know that you've mentioned that it's integrated with platforms such as Slack, so it would give you notifications to take breaks, but um, if, if the the company is not on slack how would how would they use it and how would like an individual be able to benefit from it 
Sure. Uh, I mean, we uh, we created this, and we are now creating a Slack app, but this is a part of our product. We also have a web app, and actually, uh, we have clients that do not use Slack. They use MS Team. In the future, we also want to create an MS Team integration. But at the moment, we have we're clients using uh, Minky, using their intranet, but also using our web app, and it's working uh, tremendously. So Slack is really a way for us to be more visible. In uh, and, and more present in employees' workdays, but it's not a must. I and mean, you can use all the features of Minky without having Slack, except so, one line matching. This is a feature that we only have on Slack. So then, my question is: uh, Do as an employee, I'll have to log in on your web app to be able to, uh, like, basically, it has to be on as a as a one of my, you know, uh, ma like a to manage my day. I'll open Minky, and it will help me manage the breaks as a an, an added app on my on my you know dashboard exactly you can uh, add the, the app on your dashboard but um employees do not have to install it to uh, to have the benefits of minky because we work with companies giving them some some ideas or some uh, advice with ambassadors so that they can integrate the minky routine the minky break in the work days of team so as an employee, you might enter a meeting and just enjoy a minky break that will not be launched by yourself, but by someone else. So that way we can also reach employees that do not have consciousness for their own mental well-being. So just going to be confronted with a new way of recharging and then want to, to, to know more and to do it on their own. So creating team routine is a great entry door to, um, to make employees on the long term also do individual breaks on their own. But this really this team dynamic is where we put the focus on because we realize that we have much more reach that way um, and particularly reaching employees that wouldn't on their own uh, use a mental health uh, app, for example. Um, that's the way. Thank you. And uh, last uh, question for me, obviously, is um, uh, m mine is more around, you know, how your solution, um, you know, in, in improves the HR uh, function right, and so so how how is it that you think your solution makes HR uh, more strategic and efficient uh, in in an organization? Yeah, well, what we uh, <clears throat> we we started to create Minky with the idea of test, of enabling easier HR processes. So we already have all the documentation for HR, so that they do not take a lot of time implementing Minky. And uh, where we see a real benefit for organization is that. Uh, we create a much, um, a much better, a much more attractive workplace for employees. So it helps in their employer branding. It helps uh, increasing their retention. A lot of our company communicates on Minky in their job advisements, uh, job offers, for example. So trying to say, okay, we are an attractive workplace, no matter if you sit at home or if you're at the office. So this is something that is very positive in terms of reducing turnover, in terms of increasing employer branding on the one side. And on the other side, of course, because our product is holistic, so we are treating the three aspects of well-being, the social aspect, the physical aspect, and the mental aspect. And that way, of course, we uh, reduce uh, sick days and reduce um, burnouts. So actually, we have a study. We did a, There was an independent study from the University of Munich about the effect of our breaks. And they found out that after three weeks of usage, stress already reduces by 30%. So you have a direct effect on your uh, sick days that way. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Um, and, uh, and 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 you know you did mention that you you know it's okay to call you Delphine, so we'll we'll call it, we'll we'll say that. Thank you very much for being here. And while the judges write down some notes, how can uh, attendees find out more about Minky? Well, uh, you're all welcome to uh, reach out to me on LinkedIn, of course, or on our website Minky uh, M I N Q I point I O. Um, and uh, keep tuned because we're going to release our uh, next product uh, at the end of the month, so there will be a lot of changes coming up. Okay, excellent. Thank you for being here. All right, let's bring up our fourth participant, uh, skill set. Hey, um, I, I have a great job offer for you. Hey, aren't you tired from all of this? Hasn't recruiting become so complex in the last decade? Don't you feel like something got lost along the way? Every little step of the process is now controlled by dozens of fragmented tech solutions. You start by posting a job on a job board, analyze data from hundreds of CVs, and only then you get to the point you really like, to meet relevant candidates. A single function now consists of a long and tedious process of both job seekers and recruiters. 
And after all these efforts, we are still struggling to find qualified candidates. In fact, we miss out on many of them. Oh, you send your CV as well? Sorry, this is where it's gonna end up. For me, being in HR is about connecting with people. I want to create opportunities and to be a positive force on people's career journeys. That's why we founded Skillset. My team and I have decades of HR expertise and we're using cutting edge technology to make hiring simple. Skillset is a transcending online job simulation platform that brings the right candidate to a specific position you want to fill. We source candidates and vet their skills by testing their proven performance in real-life job experience simulations. The candidates get a better understanding of the job and an opportunity to show what they can do. We match the result with your needs and provide only with the best ones. That's it, back to basics. You get a qualified candidate, you interview and hire. This way, you spend less time on hiring and more time getting to know your candidates better and improving their internal success rate. Our results show that one in three skill set qualified leads get hired with a 20% better retention rate after three months. So what are you waiting for? All right, thanks for that presentation, uh, Dr. Huber, and welcome to the to the stage. Um, and for Hi, this great to be here. Fantastic, thank you for being here for this round. Um, Hala, do you wanna get us started? Yeah, I mean, can you just walk us through if I am an HR or a recruiter, how how do I, how do I use your platform? How you just can you just walk me through the customer journey on your platform? Yeah, sure. It's pretty easy. You just uh, onboard our platform. You uh, publish a job ad based on our requirements or general. Um, uh, w the core of our tech is um, is descriptions of core tasks per job. So what you, you will get as a recruiter is the list of the core tasks we test. You qualify them. So this is the ones you want to check. And then you push a button and you get only qualified leads straight to your funnel. So it's directly to your ATS or any other way you would like it. Okay. Okay. All right. Nishit, uh, next question over to you. Sure. Um, that sounded very similar to what Indeed or any other um, job boards would would do at present. So 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 one question is is how is this different? And two, uh, from what I could understand from the presentation is that uh, you you may need data at both ends. One is the data of the of the candidates, in in terms of them filling in details about what are they good at, and of course to be able to get in clients uh, at the other end, right? So uh, so so what what's what's really a strategy for attracting more and more. Um, you know, potential hires to sort of be on the platform, uh, almost in, in a ready state for your clients to sort of be attracted to them. So, so how, how, how do you get in traffic at both ends? Okay, so um, first of all, uh, skill set mission is to connect companies and job seekers based on proven tested skills alone. This is not questionnaires. Our platform provides live, smart simulation tests that simulate the core task of the job we pull candidates into our platform. We have different channels for that. I will share in a minute regarding your question. And then the first step, regardless the, um, the company at the end, they experience the job. So if you're a customer care app, you will, provide, you will answer clients, you will make calls. If you're a sales app, you need to close deals. And if you are a picker in a warehouse, you need to collect items into boxes. This is pretty straightforward simulation. We analyze the candidate's performance online. So we test their performance, their behavior, or its video and audio analysis and performance analysis. And then based on their performance alone, so instead, in that use, indeed, sorry, using CV and resumes, we do not use resume at all. We use only performance. So based on their performance alone, we connect them with relevant positions relevant to them. So the candidates can apply only for relevant position and also explore other positions that are relevant for them based on their skills. Um, company on the other side will get this pool of qualified leads based on their hiring needs without using resume. So our vision is to create a more, what we do is create a more diverse um, um, pool of candidates. It's not just create a much more efficient 
uh, process of hiring. Um, in terms of how do we pull candidates, we use our own uh, advertising. Um, uh, candidates are really excited about experience the job and get a real um, data and knowledge about what a day-to-day -day in a life will look like. Uh, and to get a feedback of, you know, if they're qualified for a job or not, or not, instead of sending CVs over and over again without getting a response. So this is one. The second, we work closely with NGOs and companies, provide service to underrepresented populations, uh, women, youth at risk, uh, people with disability, minorities. We pull everybody in in order to really stand uh, behind what we say about diverse workforce. And the third, we use the company funnel. So people are not hired from the company funnel, we pull them inside our platform and offer them other uh, opportunities. And last question for me is, um, you know, part of your presentation said that uh, one in three of the candidates get tired. So, you know, the, the question that popped in my mind when I heard that was, you know, how come not 100%, right? Because if, if these are candidates that are going through your performance, uh, uh, you know, simulations, right? And they pass the performance simulations, you would think that, you know, like all the candidates should be, should have been higher. So how come only one out of three? So we enable HR leaders to interview their candidates and check their matching to the environmental, you know, features to the managers. We do not stand behind that. This is the HR leader job. And this is what we want them to be focused on. What we vet is their performance, but this is not enough to be qualified for a job. Okay. So at the end, we help recruiters interview only the ones who are relevant and and be focused on what really matters is that fit to their organization. So is it safe to say that your solution or your, or your uh, platform helps recruiters be more efficient in the job that they do? Absolutely, not more, of all, not just that, but also um, be more. We diverse their pool of candidates that they get. We help companies to reach this untapped pool of job seekers that they couldn't reach with their current solutions. Got it. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Huber, for being here. And while the judges write down some notes, how can attendees find out find out more about uh, skill set? So we have an active, really active LinkedIn page. You can uh, uh, go into that and skills that you can approach me uh, personally. I'll be happy to talk and or our website, skillsatech.com. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. All right, let's bring up our fifth participant, uh, Pulsify. Hi, I'm Jay, co-founder and CEO of Pulsify. It's always challenging to understand people. The resume doesn't provide quite enough info, so we need to look at other data we need to consider culture, and it takes significant manual effort to digest all that data and apply it to hiring, talent management, or L&D. Imagine doing it for tens or hundreds or thousands of people. Definitely painful, potentially biased, and definitely unscalable. And we learned that it is really the disconnect between people and their organizations that is a big driver for the great vaccination today. However, we feel this is also the opportunity for a great reset a chance to get it right this time. So the good news is that Pulsify makes all of this instantaneous. Our People Data Platform unifies data from multiple sources, directly from candidates and employees, from the organization, from other systems, to be able to use that to holistically understand each person across hard skills and soft traits and accurately predict outcomes at work. While other companies tend to focus on specific tools, we are the only ones providing AI models to unify everything. We are fortunate to have customers and successes all around the world. This is a profile on our platform, where we tell the story of why Kylie is a 66% fit for this role based on role-specific hard skills and soft traits criteria breakdown over here. We also run models and outfit, which organizations can tailor with us if they wish. User gets an overview and can definitely dive deeper into anything to be able to understand Kylie really well. Our platform also recommends how to interview that is really tailored for the role and the candidate. And we also run these models on employees to support high potential selection, customer success development, and transformation. Because we understand each employee so deeply, we're able to tailor L&D content based on that. 
candidates also get insights to learn more about themselves in the process when interacting with our platform. To date, we have touched the lives of over 200,000 people and we are growing our business more than 5x year on year. Benefits include more than 90% accuracy, predicting performance, behaviors, job fit, org fit, as validated by managers, even for new hires one year into the role. High adverse impact ratios to reduce biases and improve DEI, up to 70% savings and over 90% user satisfaction. Our vision is to connect the dots across the talent lifecycle from selection to L&D to engagement and wellness so that we can truly understand each person and help people achieve their potential. I look forward to continuing the conversation with you. Thank you. Thanks for the presentation, Jay, and welcome to the stage. Um, so for this round, uh, Nisha, uh, do you want to uh, get us started with the questions? Very interesting uh, offering, Jay. Uh, Thanks. Question, have you found users, um, you know, have you only found external users or have you also found um, internal users from the internal job market perspective? So, so, so what is it that you're focusing on primarily? Um, we are focusing on uh, new hires in terms of candidate selection, um, but we've also helped customers to dig into previous candidate pools. So, for example, um, candidates who applied to jobs before, but usually they sit in the system and they don't get revisited. But I think those are a low hanging fruit because they've already engaged with the employer's brand. Um, we also dig into the company's employees to help with employee selection for certain pro uh, programs. I mentioned high potential transformation and things like that. Um, the segment of people we tend to focus on are um, white collar roles, uh, professional roles. And generally, we've done a lot of everything from uh, entry level to mid level. So that the ones that tend to happen in higher volumes. Sure. Okay. Next question over to you, Hala. Um, you can ask me about a business model. Yes, I'm going to ask you about your business model. <laughs> it's my favorite question. But yeah, <laughs> Thanks, it's Bella. just for me to understand how how adaptable is the is the platform for the different like you know um, customers. Right. Um, I would say that there are two options. I think um, smaller companies that don't have so much data already, they can just take the standard models that we have. So we've already got uh, more than 50,000 of the most common jobs already set up. So we've got already success profiles there, and that's based on research, including ONET, ESCO, and elsewhere. So it's already a good place to start off. They can get uh, live on the same day. Uh, larger organizations might want to benchmark existing employees. They might have their own frameworks they want to put in. So that one could take maybe one, two weeks for them to set up. Um, uh, either case, the validation of existing data could be an ongoing process. So for example, they could start hiring and as they hire, we can learn from hiring decisions and then we can also learn from past hiring decisions and performance outcomes. Our business model is a uh, annual subscription. So customers would usually sign up for X number of uh, candidates or employees that they expect to analyze throughout the year. And then the pricing is based on that. So it's a SaaS model. Thank you. Okay. Um, I have a couple of questions. The first one is, um, you know, you mentioned that uh, right now you're focusing on on white collar workers. So are you planning on expanding, you know, to, to include uh, blue collar workers, for, for example, right? Um, so that's the first question. And then the second question that I have. Um, so a, a few years ago, a couple of years ago, Sherm uh, came out with some research that showed that 58% of people uh, quit their jobs because of a bad boss. Um, so does your, does your um, uh, solution or platform, you know, determine what's the likelihood that uh, a hiring manager and a candidate or an employee are going to be a good match with, with each other? Yeah, so that, that's a great uh, research and point, uh, Guillermo. So actually, when we first started our business, we focused mostly on job fit. And then since then, we've expanded into culture fit. And I think that's the next low hanging fruit. But beyond that, we do want to get into team fit and leader fit as well to be able to connect everything. And because we've got data of uh, the different people already in the team, plus and candidates they are going to join, I think it really gives us a good position to be able to look at how somebody really complements uh, the resources and talent is already there. OK, excellent. Thank you very much. Um, and while the judges write down some notes, uh, how can attendees find out more about uh, Pulsify? Um, 
yeah, so we can reach us um, by email, LinkedIn, uh, or our website. And I think uh, my colleagues will post that in the chat. Uh, but Guillermo, coming back to your previous question, actually, we do support blue collar roles as well. Um, some of our customers, for example, they put the entire um, employee base with us. Um, it's just that we started with the white collar, and I think we expect to be moving to other segments of the workforce shortly. Okay, fantastic. Thank you very much for being here. Thank All you right. very much for your time. All right, thank you. Um, let's bring up our sixth participant, uh, the Work.Life. Hi, I'm Tina, co-founder at the Work.Life. In the next three minutes, I'm going to show you how you can find great people to work with in a time-efficient and cost-effective manner. So here's a little background. Just as the vacation industry evolved from newspaper classifieds to an interactive rating site like Airbnb, the Work.Life is an evolution in the HR space, bringing you skills, relationships, and a trust engine based on validated feedback. So here's the problem we are trying to solve, which is getting the right fit. And this problem emanates from a lack of transparency at the time of an interview. This has a cascading effect on the business. A wrong fit can not just impact business, but it also impacts your customers. As HR professionals, you would know the cost of dissonance, attrition, and rehiring can be steep. So we aim to solve this problem through a 360 degrees feedback mechanism. As you can see here, this is Susan Green, and she has received a 4.8 average rating of behavioral feedback from the people she works with. To ensure credible reviews, we have 25 plus features and safeguards focused on ensuring review trustworthiness. The benefit of our job seekers is to make an informed decision. And for human resources, not only can you make an informed decision, but you can also reduce the time and cost to hire. I'll drill down a little bit into the review parameters. It's simple. We focus on behavioral parameters such as this, because unlike performance, behavior is always in your control. For reviews to be valuable, we have a plethora of safeguards that indicates review and reviewer credibility, such as agree and disagree, a report option, and also a moderation mechanism. We also have an interesting feature which allows you to review a colleague who is not on the site using publicly available non-copyright information, such as a social media handle. The market we operate in, well, we straddle the space between Glassdoor and LinkedIn to create a unique one-stop shop to review people and companies. We are a feature-rich MVP. About the better workplace challenge questions, I'll leave it at this and I'll summarize my answers by saying that as a transparency platform, we believe behavioral change doesn't occur overnight, but it'll enable a seismic shift in managerial and corporate culture to drive productivity and efficiency in the long term. And this is the team. The team has an extensive experience across industries, geographies, and domains. Please do reach out to us for further information. Thank you so much for your time. All right, excellent presentation, Tina. Welcome to the stage. Um, and for this round, um, Hala, would you like to uh, get us started with the questions? Yes, uh, thank you so much, Tina. Just to, I have a question you've mentioned that Customers can um, uh, provide feedback and then you can add other um, team members that are not on the platform. So can you explain to us the privacy um, around that? Sure, if you want to take that question. Oh, hi, Hala. I am uh, Kudal. Um, so publicly available information to uh, review uh, is not on the platform. And when that colleague joins uh, the platform and claims the profile, the review gets uh, automatically merge into that person's profile. Now we, like uh, Tina said, we have a lot of safeguards to ensure um, protection of, uh, you know, the kind of uh, what we built in the professional uh, space. So um, a lot of people come back and say that this could be uh, a revenge platform, but that's not how we allow it. Uh, we have a lot of features blocking gamification. And uh, this is a public platform, user-generated and crowd-validated. Uh, by the public profile handle, what uh, we mean is it's your LinkedIn handle or the Facebook URL that's publicly available, non copyright information. So to create a profile, all you got to do is just take that. It's uh, not illegal. It's legal. It's better by the lawyers. And you can create a profile to review the person. I, I hope I've answered your question. 
Thank you. Okay. Um, next question over to you, Nisha. So interesting platform. Um, the only question in my mind is, um, how do you screen out profiles um, who are nice guys behaviorally, but technically incompetent? So uh, that's where skill set validation comes in. Uh, but we believe attitude and aptitude uh, from skill set because uh, you can train on the job, but you can't uh, train business out of the job. Sorry, we're losing video and audio. We don't know what it's on. Can you hear us? Uh, yes, but you were you were breaking up a little bit. Yeah, we seem to be having an internet challenge there. Yes, it seems like they uh, their internet connection went down. Tina, can you still hear us there? Okay, it seems like you're you're back. Do you want to try answering that question? Yeah, again? sorry about that. Uh, the Wi-Fi is pretty terrible. Is this okay? Can you hear us? Yes, we can hear you now. It, okay. it, it worked fine for the previous five pitches, and then just cut out the minute. I didn't know. Okay. Sorry, um, Nitin, you were. Yes. Uh, so the question was, how do I, you know, is this platform designed to weed out uh, people who might be technically incompetent, behavioral nice oh. guys, but technically incompetent, or or is that something that you would rather, uh, you know, have the screening people do uh, differently? I mean, not, so, not on the platform. Nishit, as a principle, we are saying that uh, attitude and aptitude trumps uh, skill sets and you can teach on the job. However, uh, having said that, we have a skill set validation uh, program built into uh, the system. It's a phase one uh, uh, platform right now. So if you say that you're a JavaScript developer, there will be a small JavaScript uh, test. But uh, we will, will integrate later uh, with you know, getting the skill sets also uh, validated okay. as part of a phase two business model. Okay. okay. And last Sorry. question that I have for you is, um, I, I think you may have mentioned in your video mm -hmm. that you're at the MVP stage right now. Is is that correct? Or maybe you can talk about the type of traction that you're getting for, for, uh, for your company? Yes. Uh, so we are a feature rich MVP. A year ago, it was just bare bones. Even I didn't like our site a year ago. Uh, we have a lot of features and uh, for the moment we have about 130,000 users um, and it keeps going month on month at about uh, 10 to 12 percent. So at the moment we hugely advertise on Facebook. Uh, we also have some offline marketing events planned where we get reviews, uh, people searching our site for jobs, etc. Uh, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, for the moment, stability and uh, growth is of importance to us. We pre-seed, uh, sorry, pre-revenue. Mm -hmm. So our focus is on growth and scale at the moment. And uh, Guillermo, we've uh, done a proof of concept for our go-to-market, uh, you know, our Facebook digital marketing uh, is at about 20 to 22 rupees per uh, user. We've done a uh, review, uh, Go to market validation and we get reviews at 30 rupees a user. I, uh, so that's I, about I know, uh, uh, 20 cents per user. 25, yeah, 20 to 25 cents. Sorry, I was talking in INR. Mm -hmm. Yes, so uh, that's about 75 uh, to 77 rupees a dollar, uh, Guillermo. Um, so, yeah, 30 rupees a review and uh, 20 rupees uh, per on market customer. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Um, so while the judges write down some notes, how can attendees find out more about um, the work that life? Sure, you can connect with me online, uh, Tina Abraham, and this is Kunal Kashyap. Uh, or you can reach me directly on the work dot life, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook. We're happy to connect and give you more information. Okay. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you for being here. All right, let's bring up our seventh participant, Perflow. Hi, I'm Bensi, and I'm the founder of Perflow. Let's face it. If what we've been doing until now was working, we wouldn't have this thing called the great resignation. It's a new world of work. It's a new generation at work. So new tools and processes are needed to adapt to this change. 
and to enable people to be their best at work and be happy while doing it. So our unique understanding at Perflow is that people stay in their jobs because they enjoy and are motivated by the work they do, who they're working with and who they're working under. They don't leave because there's not enough vacation days or gym membership. They leave because of their team and their manager. So we've gone ahead and put the power into the hands of teams and managers to work better together, increase their effectiveness. And this actually reduces the lift of HR and L&D. It closes the loop, shortens the feedback cycle, and allows teams to autonomously self-assess, self-rectify with the help of HR, but not the reliance of HR. And if we can make teams more effective, we can increase engagement rates, we can decrease attrition rates, and of course, positively impact organizational performance. And managers need to understand and not assume what's happening in their teams on a daily basis, not annually, not quarterly, and not even monthly, because things often change so often, teams dynamics shift. It's vital to keep track of your team's vitals, especially when they're remote. And we always say this at Perflow, prevention is the best form of medicine. And so we've pulled together some of the best minds in organizational effectiveness, behavioral science, and team psychology to bring you Perflow. We've leveraged the latest research in management and behavioral economics to transform the power of nudges into the workplace and into a team's environment. So yes, there's survey tools managers can log into. How many of them do? There's pulse surveys that HR run. What impact does that have on a team on a day-to-day -day basis? So we focus exclusively on teams and not on the organization. And there's a clear need for a product and a process that is embedded within a team's life in the flow of work, helping them to be their best, understand each other, communicate effectively, and work together to solve problems. And we know managers are extremely busy. They don't have time to you know, always check in and, and, and they, don't, they can't be always intuitive and proactive. And that's where the power of nudges come in. We can help managers and teams directly within Slack and Microsoft Teams to go from feedback to action in a very light and easy way. Eliminate surprises. And of course, those are the things that lead people to leave companies and projects to be impacted. Organizations are made up of teams. So we need to focus on enabling them and as a byproduct, the organization will be successful. And that's why we've partnered with the likes of PMI to help drive team performance and well-being across the world. So join us. It's time to empower teams with the insights they need to be more effective and operate in harmony. Thank you. Let's build a better world of teamwork together. Okay, great presentation, Bensi, and welcome to the stage um, for this round. Uh, Nish, uh, do you want to go ahead and get us started? I've understood this as being um, a, a real-time employee um, feedbacks uh, sort of a tool uh, that, that's there. Um, so it's it's not just feedback, but you'll also get managers on uh, to work on actionables. Um, can you elaborate a little bit more about uh, what will it actually get managers to do that it impacts uh, both engagement as well as productivity? Sure. Well, we measure anything that's related to a manager's capabilities on leading their team on a day-to-day -day basis. So whether it be something to do with the project that they're working on or whether it be something to do with the team, um, dynamics or, or things that are not so visible will send a, a, a nudge to a manager for example and say hey um, your team is at risk of uh, being overworked and being you know, burnt out here are some things you can do um, and here are some uh, suggestions requests from the team of what you can do to help them reduce that workload so it's not just generic you know here are three things you can do for burnout it's more contextual to that week and the team's suggestions on uh, that specific metric. I'm not sure if that's what you, uh, if that's what you're asking or something else. No, it's that. It's that. I think you've answered it. Thank you. Got, got sure. it. Okay. Uh, Hala, next question over to you. Yeah. Can you talk to us about how it integrates into the different platforms and how easy is it for the individual teams, individuals and teams to use it? Sure. Um, takes about thirty seconds to plug in, uh, from finding it in the, you know, in the app store, of getting a link and then plugging in. 
and takes about four minutes. We've timed this from when you, as a manager, sign up to sending out a micro assessment to your team. Um, and then the lift of the team member is 30 seconds uh, every week. Um, but we don't do just like, it's not like a survey tool that just sends you surveys and questionnaires. It's quite a, adaptive to what's happening in the team, what happened last week, and if the manager took actions or not. So we also monitor manager activity right so we can see if they are acting on the nudges we can see if they're opening things up we can see if they're looking at their team insights um and that's an indicator for us as well um on on what's happening in the team okay and uh i have a couple of questions for you um number one is is there a minimum size for for the team right because obviously right now you're focusing on teams specifically um, you know, so is there a minimum that, that, that you require for that thing to be? And then what kind of, you know, retention and usage metrics are, are you seeing? You know, um, are, are people continuing to use your product after a certain period of time? Or, you know, do you see a drop in, in the, you know, the, the amount of use of your product? Sure. Um, excuse me. So the... Sorry, remind me of the first question, please. The first is in regards to the minimum size of the team. Right. Um, 40 members uh, is the minimum. Uh, that's obviously for anonymity and data. The second um, question, we haven't had enough time in the market to have metrics that would make, uh, that, that, that would be, uh, accurate enough to give you a number but we haven't had any pilot customers drop off so i suppose zero churn but it's not on a it's not enough data to uh, advertise yet okay got it thank you very much all right um thanks bency and and how uh well the judges write down some notes how can attendees find out more about uh perflow <clears throat> and by the way i'm sorry about our video the video that we made for this uh, didn't didn't uh, save properly, and so I had to do that video last minute pitch. Um, they can find us at www.perflow.co.co um, on my LinkedIn, Ben C. Goldman, um, and you can email me, Ben C. at perflow.co anytime. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much for being here. All right. Thank you. Um, and that actually completes uh, the round of, of uh, pitches that we had uh, for today. Um, you know, now the judges, uh, we're, we're going to deliberate on the pitches that you just saw. Um, we're actually going to go into a separate Zoom session and then we'll come back. Um, but while we're deliberating, uh, we do have some great information to share with you. Um, please also visit the Knowledge Center virtual booth that has been set up um, to learn more information about this great benefit that uh, SHRM members can get access to. There's also going to be a poll out there um, in which you're going to be able to vote for, uh, for your uh, favorite startup. Um, so we should be back uh, shortly in about 10 minutes. Um, hang tight and uh, we'll see you in a little bit. All right. Thank you. We are standing on the precipice of a new future. Never before have so many workplace challenges been present. But with each challenge comes opportunity. A chance to disrupt what was and create what will be. Now, more than ever, the time is now for HR to lead workplace innovation. And innovation is the key reason why SHRM launched the first ever Better Workplaces Challenge Cup. Earlier this year, we put out a call for workplace innovators solving the most pressing workplace challenges. Over 150 teams of entrepreneurs answered the call and competed in 17 local rounds that were co-hosted with SHRM chapters nationwide. Judge panels made up of SHRM volunteers selected the top three pitches from each local round to advance to the regional semifinals. The five regional winners competed in the finals event held at this year's annual conference. Innovation at the end of the day is critical if we intend to reset, rethink, 
reimagine HR. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Damon John. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for being in uh, HR. <laughs> From all of these impressive presentations, only two innovators remain. The two finalists will be Simba. And the next one is Comps. And the winner of Sherm's 2021 and first ever Better Workplaces Challenge Cup is... Comps. Oh my God. We work. That's what we do. We get up and get at it because our work defines us. What do I aspire to be? This is my break, what I've been working so hard for. I have big dreams for myself. I know what I want for my career and my family. I want to know that what I do matters. I want to be better than I was yesterday. It's a small business, but my employees and their families rely on us to succeed. Beyond our sense of self. Our work is life. It's entry level, but I'm going to prove I have something to offer. This is my chance to build a career. So close to that down payment. These college fees are stacking up. Gotta ask for that raise. I have to start putting more aside for retirement. As HR professionals, we impact all of this. What we do matters. Sherm is an organization that represents some 300,000 HR professionals across the globe. But most importantly, we touch and affect influence the lives of 100 million workers every day. You can't find a CEO today who is not talking about people and people issues. And what we're for is safe and dignified workplaces for everyone. Every profession. Every day. All around the world. HR is there. My work gives me confidence. My work gives me hope. I can provide for my family. My kids will have things I never had. I enjoy giving back to my community. I have a sense of my own value. I am finally an expert at something. I want to instill a work ethic in my kids. Take care of my folks. I want to make a contribution to this world. I love HR. It's the most human profession. My work gives me purpose. My role in HR gives me pride. HR matters. HR is an opportunity to change lives. What kind of world will you create? In one of the most challenging years our businesses have ever witnessed, Sherm Research was there every step to answer your toughest workplace questions. This was possible because Sherm members like you provided real-time insights to our team of researchers. We wanted to take time to share some of our more surprising and noteworthy findings from this year. COVID has had a devastating impact on businesses across the U.S., particularly small businesses, but many have proven resilient. 
Sherm research found that over two in five small businesses had started rethinking the way they do business, and a third had found a new way of delivering existing services due to COVID. Over one third of American workers reported that they don't feel comfortable discussing race at work. This perception differs along racial lines, with 45% of black workers saying their workplace discourages discussions of racial injustice issues at work, compared to just 30% of white workers. Interestingly, 70% of HR professionals we interviewed said these discussions are okay at work. This is an opportunity for HR professionals and organizational leaders to guide employees to have thoughtful, civil, and respectful conversations about race and create workplaces where everyone feels included and can express their points of view. Some of the benefits that employers adopted during COVID-19 might be here to stay. Over two-thirds of organizations, 68%, said they would probably or definitely adopt broader or more flexible work-from-home policies for all workers following the pandemic. So much of this timely body of research wouldn't be possible without our members who share their everyday lived experiences at work. By participating in future studies, you can continue to help SHRM answer the most pressing questions that impact work, workers, and workplaces across the globe. Together, we can achieve our mission to create better workplaces for a better world. Now that she's a manager, she's wondering, exactly how do I manage? She'll acquire the skills and confidence she needs with PMQ from SHRM, a self-paced, interactive, and entertaining learning journey. In every binge-worthy episode, managers face challenges, see the impact of their decisions, and test their growing skills with gamified assessments. Perform well, and they can earn the PMQ. Better managers create better workplaces. Pre-order SHRM's new People Manager qualification now.
In one of the most challenging years our businesses have ever witnessed, Sherm Research was there every step to answer your toughest workplace questions. This was possible because Sherm members like you provided real-time insights to our team of researchers. We wanted to take time to share some of our more surprising and noteworthy findings from this year. COVID has had a devastating impact on businesses across the U.S., particularly small businesses, but many have proven resilient. SHRM research found that over two in five small businesses had started rethinking the way they do business, and a third had found a new way of delivering existing services due to COVID. Over one third of American workers reported that they don't feel comfortable discussing race at work. This perception differs along racial lines, with 45% of black workers saying their workplace discourages discussions of racial injustice issues at work, compared to just 30% of white workers. Interestingly, 70% of HR professionals we interviewed said these discussions are okay at work. This is an opportunity for HR professionals and organizational leaders to guide employees to have thoughtful, civil, and respectful conversations about race and create workplaces where everyone feels included and can express their points of view. Some of the benefits that employers adopted during COVID-19 might be here to stay. Over two-thirds of organizations, 68%, said they would probably or definitely adopt broader or more flexible work-from-home policies for all workers following the pandemic. So much of this timely body of research wouldn't be possible without our members who share their everyday lived experiences at work. By participating in future studies, you can continue to help SHRM answer the most pressing questions that impact work, workers, and workplaces across the globe. Together, we can achieve our mission to create better workplaces for a better world. Now that she's a manager, she's wondering, exactly how do I manage? She'll acquire the skills and confidence she needs with PMQ from SHRM, a self-paced, interactive, and entertaining learning journey. In every binge-worthy episode, managers face challenges, see the impact of their decisions, and test their growing skills with gamified assessments. Perform well, and they can earn the PMQ. Better managers create better workplaces. Pre-order SHRM's new People Manager qualification now. Our economy is fueled by dynamic workplaces where the impossible becomes possible, where individuals reach their full potential. SHRM impacts the lives of 115 million workers and their families every day. And together, we can build a world of work that works for all. That is our vision, to advocate for better policies, elevate human resources, and develop stronger managers. Still, the workplace needs work. By creating better workplaces, we are truly creating a better world. One person can cause an effect. 
One person in HR can challenge outdated hiring practices, champion modern benefits, advocate for pay equity, and turn jobs into careers. HR empowers others to not only dream of change, but to create it. The actions of a few affect the lives of many. Join SHRM today to cause the effect you wish to see in the workplace. Our folks here have over 20 plus years experience. We provide two main areas, express requests, which is a compilation of all various topics. can actually save a lot of time by asking one of our advisors to do some research for you, to bounce off an idea, to find out latest current employer practices. We talk about every topic imaginable under the umbrella of human resources. Among the most popular would be the Family and Medical Leave Act, the exemption status, questions about the salary basis. The questions go on and on. We could talk about many more of them. And if you want to do that, don't forget one of the prime benefits of being a SHRM member, the HR Knowledge Center. We are standing on the precipice of a new future. Never before have so many workplace challenges been present, but with each challenge comes opportunity. A chance to disrupt what was and create what will be. Now, more than ever, the time is now for HR to lead workplace innovation. And innovation is the key reason why SHRM launched the first ever Better Workplaces Challenge Cup. Earlier this year, we put out a call for workplace innovators solving the most pressing workplace challenges. Over 150 teams of entrepreneurs answered the call and competed in 17 local rounds that were co-hosted with SHRM chapters nationwide. Judge panels made up of SHRM volunteers selected the top three pitches from each local round to advance to the regional semifinals. Five regional winners competed in the finals event held at this year's annual conference. Innovation at the end of the day is critical if we intend to reset, rethink, reimagine HR. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Damon John. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for being in uh, HR. <laughs> From all of these impressive presentations, only two innovators remain. The two finalists will be Simba. And the next one is Comp. And the winner of SHRM's 2021 and first ever Better Workplaces Challenge Cup is Comp. Oh my God. All right, and we are back with the decision. Uh, judges, welcome back uh, to the stage. Um, and once again, you know, let, let's give a, a hand to these great companies that competed today. Um, as mentioned at the beginning, the, the top two of these companies are going to be moving forward to the semifinals um, of the 2022 Better Workplaces Challenge Cup. Um, so let, let's get right to it. Um, the top two companies for this segment are Minky and Pulsify. So major congratulations to Minky and Pulsify. Um, and we look forward to your participation in the semifinals. Um, judges, any any words that you, you'd like to say to the winners? Um, Hala, starting off with you. Yeah, thank you everyone for your time today and, uh, and for the answering our questions and good luck for the teams in the next round. Okay. Nishit? Yeah, I think uh, the winners today um, symbolize the organizations which uh, which bring in some very innovative solutions 
uh, to deal with uh, the, the present uh, employee challenges that organizations face, particularly to deal with the great resignation, uh, mental health challenges. So I'm very excited with, in fact, all the presentations. It was uh, not so easy to pick the, the, the top winners. All the best to you uh, as you sort of advance in next stages of this uh, uh, of this fantastic uh, innovation cup. So, so all the best uh, to the winners. Okay, thank you very much. Um, and and I'll just echo what what uh, Nishis was what, what just saying a second ago. You know, um, we we felt that the two two companies that are moving forward um, have some very innovative products as well as a uh, um, a, a solid product that that we think um, is is going to do them well uh, later on in the competition. Um, so once again, judges, thank you very much for being here. Uh, participants, we thank you for for uh, participating. And to you out there, thank you for, for attending. Um, as we said at the beginning, this event qualifies for two PDCs towards your SHRM CP or SCP certification. And the code to use is 22-ADRY5. And we're going to be displaying that code in a second. Um, next up is going to be our 10th and actually the last first round uh, segment for this year's competition. And that's going to be held tomorrow Thursday, April 21st. Um, this is going to be our fifth international segment that will be taking us to Mumbai, India. As already mentioned, the top two companies from that segment are also going to be moving forward to the semifinals. And then the top two companies from each semifinal will, will move to the finals, which will be in person at the SHRM Annual Conference and Exposition, June 12th through the 15th in New Orleans. Please visit betterworkplaceschallengecup.com to stay informed and register for our future events. And we really hope you can join us. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you for being here and we'll see you soon.